What's up, guys? I'm here with Corey Schlesinger. Corey, what do you do? Because you do some cool shit. Uh, it's okay. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> I'm the director of performance for the Phoenix Suns. And he's going to show us three movements that you as lifters, bodybuilders, powerlifters, should be adding in because you mentioned how they work in pretty simple planes. Yes, yeah, so our guys move like this a lot, even though all training is really done like this. So this is our way of working in that gray area. So black being sagittal, lifting heavy, white being sprinting and jumping. This is now working on change of direction. So this is gonna allow us to open up our hips so we can have some health and build some tissue in that area. So what we're gonna do now is called a curtsy step. Okay. So we're gonna grab this 25 pound plate and my man's gonna act like he's bowling. All right, so he's going to whip his leg, his back or right leg, behind him like he's finishing a bowl. Great. And then he's going to have his knee a little bit more over his toe in the front. His glute is really loaded. Yeah. He's going to come through and step up on this box. Bang. Good. Now, the only thing I would change is add a calf raise at the end. That Yes. Gotcha. Perfect. So he's going to load up. And the mo most important thing is to make sure all your weight's on this front leg. Yeah and that we have this knee going over that big toe. Yeah, I make the mistake of having it come out here. But you got mobility, you can do it. Up and over, excellent. So now we're working that glute in 3D. He's getting full access to the internal hip rotation and he's working into external hip rotation in extremes. Yeah, you feel this stuff. So this is going to be our grave digger. So this is a barbell movement that's traditionally known in squatting and benching, very sagittal, and we're making it into a rotational pattern. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to single leg deadlift this by keeping a suitcase handle in his left hand. He's going to left lunge forward, rotate through the torso, load up this leg like it's almost like, a, like an RDL. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now he's getting a ton of glute. He's reaching across the body. Yep. If we bring this barbell around and he brought his other foot and hand, it's a deadlift. But now this is a rotational deadlift. Mm -hmm. He's going to take that front end of the bar and bring it to his behind his right ear. Up and over. Great. Now the hard part is reloading because it takes a lot of stability and control. Mm -hmm. And then he's coming back through like he's about to take off sprinting up and over. Load him back up into that hip. Look at this IR he's getting. Yep. Great job. A lot of obliques, a lot of glutes, mm -hmm. and then coming up and over. Excellent. This is a great lift if you want to do in between sets, but I really Ooh. like it as a preparatory movement before I do a lot of deadlifting and squatting. Yeah, my oblique was on fire there. So are these glutes. Jesus. So for the last exercise, now we're going to go into a lateral kettlebell drop lunge. So we have great mobility and strength here, so he's really going to exaggerate this movement, but we're going to have it started in our right hand knowing we're going to the left. So it's going to start, I'm sorry, in my left hand, and then we're going to drop it to, this, to the right hand. So once again, my apologies, left foot, left hand, then we're going to drop it towards my right foot, and then with, or my left foot, and then I'm going to save it with my right hand. So, that shit out of that one. <laughs> so good. There we go. Great. Now, sometimes when I do this, my right foot was coming off the... And that's a, quite okay in my opinion. That's okay? This inside edge of the foot mm -hmm. is actually pretty strong. Okay. So we have multiple arches in our feet to create stability. So if we only had one or two, then our foot would be kind of weird. Yeah. But as I believe Leonardo DiCaprio said, the human foot, not Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. <laughs> DiCaprio said that shit. <laughs> hey, that's All a right. good one, though. I like good. it. I like it. <laughs> But Leonardo da Vinci said one yeah. of the greatest inventions of all time is the human foot. Amazing. And so, yeah. So guys, you know, on the podcast, we've been talking about moving better. If you're a lifter, you're doing squatting, benching, deadlifting, all of that is in one plane. You can become a better athlete by implementing this so you can move overall better. So Corey, thank you guys. Check out the podcast with Corey. Where can people find you and what you do along with your amazing mobile gym that's going to be coming out very soon? <laughs> you can find me at slash strength, S-C-H-L-E-S strength. At, or on Instagram, and then my company, me and my fiance is not done yet. Indy Performance, Indy Performance. We have a mobile gym that fits in a box and can be sent to you. Amazing. Thank you, Corey. I'm in SEMA from Super Training Gym. Strength is never a weakness, weakness is never a strength. Catch y'all later. Bah!